we are proclaiming that God is our Father in heaven and that we need to keep his name holy. Now we start asking God and his power to become active in our lives by stating, Thy kingdom come. The first thing we need to understand is what is meant by kingdom. Sorry, it's not about castles, princesses, and unicorns. The word comes from the Greek word basileus, which actually means ruling authority and kingship. So by saying thy kingdom, we are proclaiming that it's about God's authority and kingship and not ours or this world's. But wait, there's more. We say thy kingdom come. That word come is from the Greek word erkomai. Now this word can be understood in an eschatological sense, which is about Jesus coming to this world again to rule for eternity. However, this word can also be used in a verb tense that means present, active, and ongoing. This means we are not only proclaiming that God will someday rule over the world in the future, but that we are also asking for God to come and have authority and kingship in our lives now. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom 